All right, babe. So primary question. Do you think that it is important for a woman to carry a gun? Um, I think it is very important for a woman to carry a gun uh, just because I think women are more likely to become targets. Um, like we, can, we live in a world where women can, or, you know, if you're walking down the street by yourself, you could become a victim of sexual assault. Um, women, adult women have been kidnapped before. I mean, that stuff does happen. So if you find yourself in a situation like that, um, a man is going to be, nine times out of ten, a man is going to be physically stronger than you. And you, it'll take more than just your physical strength to defend your life. Um, so you would need something. And I think a gun is a perfect way to defend your life and, and if, if you're ever in an unfortunate situation like that. Hey guys, so today I thought I would bring something different to the table. Um, I wanted to talk about uh, concealed carrying a firearm from a woman's perspective. Um, I haven't seen too many videos on that. Um, here's here's my Glock 19 and both of these guns have been safety checked and all. But um, uh, I have my lovely wife here to <laughs> assist me. And um, so, okay babe, let's start. How, wh wh what's, what, what is your carry gun? This is your carry gun. Mm -hmm. And that's a uh, Ruger LC9 9mm. Okay. Um, all right, so to, to really start off, how how do you carry your gun concealed every day? It, d does it vary? Do you carry it the same way every day? or? Um, it, it depends. Um, so the holster that you guys see in the video, I use that one um, mainly if I'm wearing, like, if I have jeans on or, like, a, 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 like I guess some kind of slacks that it can hold it up. Okay. Um, and then I also have a belly band. Okay, and yeah, this is a belly band. For anybody that doesn't know, it's basically, I don't know what it's made from, but it wraps around your waist, and there's a little compartment for your gun, and there's Velcro, and it wraps around your entire waist. Uh, I'll put a link in the description to uh, where you can find one of those. So. And I use the belly band if I'm wearing, like if I was going to wear sweatpants or pants that I wouldn't be able to... I, like, this kind of holster would drag my pants down if I wore that one. Okay. So I wore the belly band, and then occasionally I will just uh, put my gun in the holster that you see in my purse. Okay. Which I probably shouldn't do. If I do. Right. <laughs> okay. So, um, would you consider carrying a gun... Okay, so a lot of people say that the best way to carry a gun is on your hip, because that's where it's most accessible. That's where you'll, you'll be able to, to get to it. Quickly, would you say that that the different ways that you carry? I mean, would you say that that one method of carry is more reliable over another method of, of carry? Do, do you know what I mean? Like, would do, would you think that carrying this on your hip is more reliable than when you just throw this holster with the gun in it in your purse? Um, if you mean reliable, like how fast could I get to it and actually be able to use it? Exactly. Um, yeah, my hip is the most reliable. Okay, so so do you think so do you think the gun in your purse? How realistically, if you were if you were in some kind of encounter where you really needed your gun and you needed it immediately, do you really think that you would be able to access it in your purse? No, uh, not exactly. <laughs> okay, I would get to it, but not immediately. Right. Okay, so that's the point that I'm trying to make here. So even though this is supposed to be the woman from the woman's perspective. I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to just bring some obvious flaws with different methods of carry that I've heard of from different different women. I'm trying to bring them those to light. I don't I personally don't think regardless of if you have a little semi-auto or or a revolver or whatever, I don't personally think that carrying a gun in your purse is the right way to do it. I think on your body is always the best way. A belly band, this works uh, about the same in the same fashion that something like that hybrid holster would work. It, it just... Uh, well, I mean, I wear the belly band higher than my waist. Okay. Often. So, so do you think... Do you still think... So compare... You're talking... I'm saying you're talking seconds, maybe. So okay. The time it takes to lift up your shirt higher. Okay, right. exactly. Okay. Um, so that's another thing... I'll, that's another thing to point out, too, then. So then you're primarily wearing the belly band underneath of your shirt, but higher up. Mm -hmm. So you'll have to lift your shirt a lot higher up to access your gun. Whereas this is just on your hip. All you have to do is just, you know, pull up your shirt a little bit 
just above your waistline, and you'd be able to access it. So, so but I mean, you could wear the belly band on your hip. Okay, so yeah, so you can also wear the belly band in place of something like this on your hip. Mm-hmm. It just might be, would you say, it might be more noticeable because I mean, then you have a big old belly band, unless you're going to put it under your pants, I guess. No, I, I don't think it's more noticeable. No. I wear it. I can wear that low on my waist, like below my pants line. I could wear okay. it almost exactly the same. Okay, so how about for a skirt? So would so would you? Primarily go to a belly band over, yeah. over the okay over the hybrid. So because I could conceal it underneath my shirt, whereas if it was on my hip, it would be very obvious. Okay. 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 So let's move on. Um. Uh. Do you think that it's okay? So I guess if you're watching this, you think that it's important to carry a gun. <laughs> I'm, I, or, or, or at least you're you're considering carrying a gun because you think that some aspect of it is important. So, what do you think, babe? Do, do you think let's stick to women? Do you think that it's important for women to carry a gun on them, as opposed to something like non-lethal? Do you think carrying a gun will be a better uh, a better thing to do than pepper spray? Um, I guess it's. Dep- I mean, I think yes because it's gonna. Like, if you use pepper spray on someone, I think it's a lot easier for someone to fight through pepper spray than it is to, a you know, wound. through a bullet wound. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, um, but then also I think it's the way that people carry things like guns versus pepper spray. Like, women tend to carry pepper spray in their purse as well. And with a gun, you're, it's more convenient. It's more, it's designed. There's, there's more design ways to carry it on your hip where it's more accessible. Right. Um, like, with pepper spray... Um, I carry that if I need to. If I'm going to my car, like when I work, I can't carry a gun. So with my pepper spray, I carry that in my hand. Okay. So, I mean. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. Yeah. So I guess. I guess. I guess. Yeah. Of course. Of course. It's always everything is a case by case basis. Yeah. So, so what? What? What I feel safest with and prefer is definitely the gun. Okay. It's better to have a pepper spray than nothing. Okay. So. So how about for the people who. They don't know if they don't know if they if if it put in a circumstance where they needed to pull a trigger and really inflict real harm on someone that could possibly kill them. Uh, they don't know if they can do that or not. Do, do you think that you could realistically do that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can't. I don't know. I can't elaborate anymore. I mean, I guess it depends on what happens in the scenario. But I'm willing to bet that nine times out of ten, that if I'm if I'm afraid for my life. I think it's normal human instinct that you're going to choose yourself over someone who's trying to hurt you. Right. So I don't think it would be... Or your children. Or, 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 or yeah, you know. Or, 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 or me, or, or whatever. Or family. Yeah. Um, yeah. Right. That that would be instinct. And I think in the moment, you might wish you could do that if you didn't have it. Right. Okay. Um, okay. Um, has your opinion of your own personal safety just... Just you, I'm talking about. Has your opinion of your own personal safety changed prior to carrying a gun? And now that you do carry a gun, I mean, when possible, when you're not in a state that doesn't allow for it or whatever, has your opinion changed on your own safety? Uh, Yes. Um, Like, before I carried a gun, I don't think I thought as much about whether I was safe or not. Um, I definitely wasn't as aware of my surroundings. or It's just not something I thought about on a day-to-day basis, like, I mean, if you went into a scary, or, you know, quote-unquote scary neighborhood, then I would think about it, but for the most part, day-to-day, I didn't think about it until after I started carrying, and then when I'm in situations, like, I work in a state where I can't bring my gun, or, like, if I'm going to the bank, um, I feel more, I, I'm very aware that I don't have my gun with me, okay. and I feel unsafe. Um, before I carry, I didn't, I wasn't aware of that feeling. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> That's interesting because that's what I I don't think I think anyone who's watching this it, like like I said is probably considering carrying a gun maybe for the first time or maybe they've had it for a while and they just they don't know if they can bring themselves to carry it because they don't know if they can use it but and I guess I don't know I guess that's like one of the first things that someone really has to evaluate is do do they feel as though they need it do they feel that I don't know that they can actually protect themselves with a gun do they feel that that will increase 
I don't know, their odds of survival and stuff. I mean, these are obvious answers, I, I would think, to anyone who currently carries a, a gun because, I don't know, to me it's obvious that, of course, having a gun on you is going to increase your chances of survival. I think it's very unlikely that someone's going to disarm you and do some, I don't know, some karate master shit and take the gun off you and use it against you. I think that that's, that's not very likely as if you, if you, if you have control over it. So anyway, let's, let's move on. Um, do you have any recommendations or advice for, let's keep it to women for, for women who are now considering carrying a gun or even women who carry right now, maybe how they can improve their method of carry or, um, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I would highly recommend the belly band, um, just because, like I said, when I'm wearing certain things that I would know, if I didn't have the belly band, it would end up, the gun would end up in my purse, which, like I said before, isn't very accessible. So, um, having the belly band as an option, like, I, I, sometimes it's not that comfortable to wear because, um, it fits a little tighter and it covers more skin, so, like, if you're sweating, it might be a little more uncomfortable, but it gives you... Um, you know, an option that it's like less, it's less limiting with your wardrobe, and that's a concern for most women. Hmm. <laughs> um, so, okay, so just to end here, what do you think is so, regardless, again, regardless of if you're just considering now carrying a gun and you, you haven't, you haven't at any time before this carried a gun, or if you've been carrying a gun, what do you think? is the most important thing to know about carrying a gun? Um, I guess, the, actually, to me, the most important thing is just the experience of going to the range. Because, um, hmm. I mean, the first time I fired it, I was... I think I was actually more scared after I fired it the first time, so maybe going to the range more than once, too. Okay, uh, well, 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 hold on. Well, why were you afraid after? I, so... So were you afraid at all prior to shooting a gun? Were you afraid of them? Um, not really, no. Okay, so so some people watching this probably will be, mm. but but that's uh, to me to me that's something that's something that is easily overcome once you go to the range. But you're saying the opposite. You're saying that you were more afraid afterwards, and why was that? Well, well the first gun I fired was um, I don't even know what it was called. It, it was it was a small three eighty that was it was a very cheap gun from Cobra Arms. Uh, so, so the first one, I could see sparks coming out of it. Okay, so, so, I was, okay, so the maybe, fire maybe coming out of Maybe there was something that, because that happened and I wasn't expecting it to happen. Okay. And then I guess also, I don't know, uh, we see, maybe as a society, we see guns all the time in movies and maybe it's, uh, it's, it's more real when you do it the first time. Right. So, okay, it's so, a new experience. So do you feel as though after you shot it the first time, as time went on and you shot it more and more... Your your comfort with it, your comfort level rose, right? Yeah, like yeah. you you were definitely more comfortable with it as time went on. And how long do you think it took you to really be comfortable with firing your gun, this gun? Oh, that one I was comfortable with it from the beginning. Okay, so then so then you would definitely say. Would you say that? Yeah, find buying, a gun that you're comfortable. Exactly. With okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so definitely. buying something that is for you. So you need to. So basically. So basically, you're saying you need to go and you need to experiment and you need to see and you need to try out different guns mm -hmm. and see what you shoot well and what and, and what you can manage. What, what feels comfortable for you, okay. definitely. Okay. Um, not, don't just go by the looks. Because the first one I fired it was small, so I thought that would be um, less... I don't know, I just smaller. I thought it would be easier to handle, less impact, but that's not always the case. Yeah, usually that's the that's opposite. Not the case. Yeah, <laughs> usually that's the opposite. Because there's less, I don't know, there's less whatever polymer or there's less steel or, or whatever they're made from. It, there, there's just less gun to absorb all that recoil. So, so okay, guys, um, I guess if anyone has any questions, just post them in the comments below. I uh, hope this was helpful to anyone considering carrying a gun. And um, all right, I'll talk to you guys later.